Hi there, welcome to Have It All. I am your host and the creator, Anna K. Morris, and I'm thrilled that you're here because if you are here, it means that you're interested in having it all, or maybe you're curious about what I and my guests have to say about having it all. Can we? Do we know what it is that we want? And once we get it, are we wise enough to know that we have it? And are we worthy enough to hold on to it? That's what we'll be exploring on the podcast. I'm so happy you're here and let's get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Have It All podcast. I am your host, Anna K. Morris, and I am so excited to dive a little bit deeper into my recent interview with Stephanie Boone. I say recent, the interview was actually, I think it was like September 14th, 2023, back when I originally planned on starting a podcast. And as you can tell, it is now 2024, October, actually. Um, And I say that because I want it to let you off the hook about thinking that it needs to be right now right? Or on this timeline. And Stephanie's interview, which if you have not listened to it, um, listen to this, it's going to be quick, I'm going to hit the high points, and then go and listen to it. It's a longer podcast um, than I normally do. But it's 57 minutes, I think 60 minutes total, maybe with the intro and the exit. Um, And it's so good, because it really highlights Stephanie's story first and foremost, but what I gleaned from it is that she just kept taking the next small right step. And I want to highlight this in particular that she did. <clears throat> she says it about halfway through the, the interview. And I quote, I said no more than yes. Here's the deal. When you are in alignment, you're going to be saying no more than you're going to say yes, right? Because you keep checking and you keep checking in. And that's what Stephanie talks about throughout the entire podcast about how she built a company from literally nothing. Stephanie does not have a college degree. So if you think that you need another degree or cert for my people that love certifications, you don't. She built a multi-million dollar company where she owned 100% of it, right, before selling it. And she did all of that without certifications, without degrees. She did it from a love for her dog. She did it from anger, which is fantastic. If you are thinking about coaching and you're really angry, man, call me up. Like that is my, it's actually my favorite emotion. I'm pretty angry right now, personally in my own life. Um, And it is having my business grow exponentially because anger is a really great emotion to fuel action, right? And then she combined that, that like fierce love. She talks about it throughout the interview, that fierce love that she has with curiosity, with curiosity, curiosity, like continuing to explore what it is that needs to happen next in order for her dog to be protected and for all animals and families to be protected. So take a listen. I literally, you guys, I took, I mean, look at this. I took two pages of notes. I listened to the interview before obviously shooting this, um, as I do, all, I listen to all my interviews, obviously. Um, and I just couldn't put the pen down. Like there was just so much. So so she said no more than yes. And then I love this other part that I just want to bring out as well. Once you know, you cannot unknow. And this is where I really find um, some resistance for myself, for my clients and in, in my personal relationships of people maybe tell me that they don't want to journal. And a lot of it can it can feel really hard to write the thing down that you've been avoiding, right? Stephanie shares quite candidly about you know going through a divorce. I'm sure it was quite public given her position within her company. Um, so that was really hard. But there are so many 
times where I've written something that's the truth and man, I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. But what happens on the other side of not liking it is freedom, right? So, and it can also be really fun and surprising when you let go of how you think it has to look. So I'm going to give you a quick example. Um, lately, I've been really looking at like gender roles within my family and within our financials and like, what does this look like? And really getting frustrated that like Derek hasn't done X, Y, Z. That's a default, right? Which is super victim mode. I'm aware of all of this. I'm a freaking coach. Like I, I coach myself in my journal. It doesn't mean that stuff doesn't still come up for me. That's why I've been journaling for 16 and a half years. I'm still doing the work, right? And so I wrote this. I asked this question of myself because I don't come at journaling from like a to-do list. I come at journaling from asking, like, I, I remember Barbara Walters growing up, like, I want the hard hitting questions that make people score me, right? That's what I ask of myself. So I asked this of myself, what if you were the breadwinner, right? I didn't grow up in a family like that. I grew up in a very traditional family. My mom didn't work until later. She became an educator. Um, but even that was like for play money. It wasn't necessarily to support our family. My dad was a pilot um, and he was the breadwinner. So I keep defaulting to that. And it is confusing to the universe and my business, right? When I'm doing that. And it's also super not me. And it and it puts, it, it's just, it's just not, I, I'm sorting through it. Okay, let's leave it at that. So when I wrote that, what if you were the breadwinner? How would you feel about that? Not like, what do I think? Or any, like, how would you feel about that? What would be the feeling of you supporting your family? I was shocked with the answer. You want to know what my answer was? My answer was relief. I would be relieved, right? If I were the breadwinner. And underneath the relief, I was like, well, relief, that's really interesting. Like, what? would be relieving. And I was like, well, I mean, I would be in control. So that's, you know, that sounds good to me right now, because I don't feel a certain amount of control. But but the other thing, it's actually not the control that is what's underneath it. It's excitement. So I love learning. I love figuring things out. I have not hacked my coaching business and really like gotten my message clear and who I work with and what I do to a point where um, like I've, I've had like clear messaging, right? Like marketing wise. And I'm getting there. I'm getting really clear that like I work with women in midlife who are frustrated with their careers and not really knowing if they want to stay, if they want to go. And if they go, what do they even do next? And what are, what are their options, right? And really transforming that conversation. That's my favorite thing. That's why I have a have it all podcast because I think we mostly have it all and we can't see it. And we have an upper limit thing that like we won't even let ourselves enjoy it, right? So once I could see that there was relief and excitement, it spurs on different actions, right? It now tells the universe that feeling, that alignment, which is what you're going to hear throughout Stephanie's interview, that alignment made it really easy for her. She kept taking the next right step and the next right step and saying no and saying no and saying no until finally it was a yes. And man, her yes was a windfall, right? And it was a really hard time and it was COVID and a divorce and like all of these things. It doesn't mean that when abundance and alignment and all of those things finally line up, that it wasn't without the work and effort. And quite frankly, we want that work and effort, right? Like I was telling my husband this morning, um, I was the best swimmer when I was on a team. They made me level up. That's why they say that, that what you earn is, a, is what the people around you earn. Like if you want to look to see like what your earning potential is, look to the five people that you spend the most time with, right? Because it has you level up. So 
go and take a listen to this interview. It is absolutely phenomenal. She, um, I'm so excited. I think I'm going to have Stephanie come back, actually. So Stephanie, if you're listening to this, get ready. I'm going to ask you to come back because it was over a year ago that we did that interview. And I also want to point to this. When you are in alignment, like I've like I've been always with my coaching business, even when it shape shifted into different things, different offerings, all that, I'm still working on the same thing, which is having people love their lives and really enjoy them. Even though I've changed the name since since Stephanie and I did the interview, it's the same guts. Like when I listened to the interview before before um, uploading it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's no problem. Like I did it 13 months ago. Totally cool because it's still the conversation of having it all. And so I'm going to have Stephanie come back and we'll revisit where she's been since she sold her company. And I know she's been traveling a lot and and not working. So it's a really wild journey to go from building something brick by brick for 15 years to then not working and really probably not needing to for the rest of her life. So what's that? What's that feel like? What's that look like? Um, thank you for listening. I love you. And I will be back with a great episode and a guest that's going to blow your mind on Thursday. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for being here. It is an honor and a privilege to have this conversation with you. As we expand in the world, what is it that we want? Do we believe that we can have it all? I hope this episode gave you some insights and some things to think about, and most importantly, some actions to go and take in your own life. If one of those actions is reaching out to me, I'm so thrilled and honored. You can always find me on my website, annakmorris.com. You can always send me an email, hello at annakmorris.com. DM, texting, if you have my number, any of that is great too. And I would love to be in touch with you and help you have it all. I love you and thank you so much for being here.